Welcome to Heroes on Our Island. I'm your host, Christine Persichetti. Every week, we bring you inspirational stories of Long Islanders who are making a difference in their communities. On today's show, the Music Academy for Special Learners. Hitting the right note for kids with special needs. Plus, Adelphi University's Breast Cancer Hotline providing support to breast cancer patients and survivors. And Quinn Madeline creating memories for families of terminally ill children. That's all coming up on Heroes on Our Island. We're coming to you today from Ronkonkoma. We're at a music school that strikes a chord with kids who have disabilities. The program started in 2007 in a house with one student. Now there are three classrooms and about 90 students eager to learn. Casio performs Canon in D like a pro, but the 13-year-old has only been a student here at the Music Academy for Special Learners for seven years. You'll notice the teenager who's been diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome knows this classical piece by heart. It makes me feel proud. Yeah. Do you get nervous? Not really, just that I've never been, I've never been much of a stage fright person. We're finding that um, a lot of the kids that come through the door at the Music Academy have unbelievable talents in music. Even though all of Maria Lamont's students have special needs, their disabilities seem to disappear when they're tickling the ivories. Just giving the kids another outlet. Uh, the kids have spent so much time in therapies and doctor's offices that there's, I found that their strengths are in music and art, and I decided I was going to create a program that would help just give them an outlet, someplace they can go and non-judgmental, have fun with something and develop and work on their strengths. This is a second career for Maria. She worked in the corporate world for years. It wasn't until she turned 40, after watching her son deal with academic challenges, that she decided to get her master's degree in special ed. It was his deficits that helped me find my direction in life. It's funny how life takes you. I never knew what I wanted to be when I grew up and I was at 40 going back to school for my special ed degree still and, and knowing that this this is where I'm supposed to be but it took me many years to find my direction so it's just funny how life takes you on a path. That path led her here to her very own music school where she created a program called Visual Music Concepts to help kids with special needs. This treasure hunt game Maria plays with Katie helps to reinforce the order of the notes on the keys, but it does much more than that. They shine it on the first note. What note is that? C. Okay, ready? Let's go around the room. Where is the C? <gasps> there it is. Good job, Katie! They work on goals, um, non-musical goals through musical games and activities. So whether it be eye contact, socialization, interaction, language, they'll work on that through musical games and acti activities. So it's not instructional, but they're using music to reach those goals. Nine-year-old Katie Kiesner's dad tells us it's helping to build her confidence. Do you like playing piano? Yeah. Why? Because I like playing music. You like playing music? Uh, see? That's it. See? It's music. Twelve-year-old Joey Cavanaugh doesn't lack confidence. I feel great. I feel like a star. He's been taking lessons here for about a year. His mom says she knew when he was three years old, at about the same time he was diagnosed with autism, that he had talent. I'm pitch perfect. What does that mean? It means that if you play a note, I can identify it right away. How do you do that? I don't know. It, it's just a gift. For Joey, it's an outlet um, that he succeeds in. And I feel that that's very important for him because he does um, struggle in other areas of his life, especially socially. And when he's able to um, celebrate himself, you know, and realize that he really can be outstanding at something, um, it gives him some confidence, and that's excellent. Michelle gets choked up when talking about Joey's experience here. The Music Academy has been a blessing to us because everybody wants to root him on. So, so when he has something that he's wonderful at, it's great. Connor's mom also gets emotional when we ask about Maria. She's amazing. She has 
the way she works with him is just incredible. Like he, it's difficult for him to take instruction a lot of times from other people, but she has such an incredible gift for working with someone like Connor. She's able to get him to do, and, and he's proud to work for her and to do very good for her. Okay, now Connor gonna start, yep. C and C sharp. Joanna says while Connor is smart and intellectual, he's socially and emotionally delayed, but he has no problem expressing emotion when playing music. He learns a piece and he plays it from totally from memory. Um, the entire piece, beginning to end. Beethoven, Bach, old classical pieces he can learn. And, and it's incredible to hear it flow from high notes and speed to very soft and emotional parts of it. And he does it soup to nuts from beginning to end. It's really amazing. And you can see the pride in Maria's face as she watches Connor. How does it feel for you to see these kids maybe come out of their shell, become more confident? It's, this is where it is. Yeah, it's emotional. She says this is the most rewarding work she's ever done. To be able to find these talents, these, you know, and these kids, and to be able to help bring it out and to see how happy they are, and the, the smiles on their faces when they get done performing, this is, that's what brings the tears. It's happy tears. The way Joanna sees it, Maria has a gift. She's my hero. She's amazing. Just as amazing as her son when he's sitting at the piano. Maria plans to open more locations of the Music Academy for Special Learners throughout Long Island. Up next. For three decades, they've comforted women diagnosed with breast cancer, and they're still going strong. My journey was made easier by a great support system. And later, she never made it to her second birthday, but she lived more in 14 months than some ever do. The story of Quinn Madeline. You're watching Heroes on Our Island.